This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. A Washington Post uh, reporter who wrote an article about how he got burglarized. All right, And it's a really fascinating article because uh, when he got burglarized, his 15-year-old son was hit the hardest. His uh, son lost his laptop, lost all of the cash that he saved in his room, uh, several things, right? Mm -hmm. But after this thief stole everything, he somehow logged into the Washington Post reporter's son's Facebook page and posted a picture of himself showboating. So he was holding the cash money. You know, he had a smirk on his face. And, um, you know, uh, the reporter, who by the name, by the way, his name is Mark Fisher, showed the photo to the authorities and said, look, 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 I have his photo. He's showboating. L let's go catch him. And the police admit, we don't do much when it comes to burglars. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Now, look, we're going to show you the picture in a second here, uh, and I love it. Uh, but get a load of what the guy did. He didn't upload it on his own Facebook page. He, just to show the kid off, and it's a kid, what do you, I mean, he's just rubbing it in his face more, and just to be more brazen, he put it on the kid's Facebook page, okay? Um, so, and he's, I love the way he's holding the money, he's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> holding the money, has like this devious little smirk on his face. But the thing that made, there it is. A devious smirk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can see a devious smirk. He, does, he doesn't look happy, though. I feel like he should have been more happy about it. <laughs> he looks upset at the money. No, but I like this, because one, he's brazen, right? Two, that's a lot of money he stole, man. Nicely job. And that's the dad's winter coat that he took right out of the box that was supposed to be, like, it had, something he just got. Yeah, he had ju it had just arrived at the home, right, of the reporter. And he opened the box, took the coat, and, you know... You, took it along with everything else. You gotta hand it to the guy though. He's a little gangster. No. <laughs> he's, look, he's got balls. You gotta give him that, right? And and but the reality, of course, is that uh, the that the especially in the big cities, is we got numbers on it. Uh, people don't chase down the muggers, okay? Uh, or robbers in this case. I mean, he broke into a house, right? Yep. Uh, what is it across the country? Twelve percent of robbers are caught. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nationwide, police only solve 12% of all burglaries. Burglaries. In Washington, D.C. alone, there are f at least 4,000 burglaries per year. Right. And in Washington and in some of the other biggest cities like New York, that n number is actually cut in half. So they only solve 6% of the burglaries. So will that encourage, encourage burglars? Of course. That's why they've got 4,000 burglaries. That's why the guy can break in and go, oh, what happened now? Cash money. Ha ha. Here's your Facebook page. But, but I don't understand this whole, like, defeatist personality by the cops. Like, why? What's wrong with them? I understand. If a, a burglar gets caught, usually the only thing that happens is they get probation. And for some reason, cops think that's enough reason to not pursue these burglars. Uh, here's another idea. Uh, they shouldn't get probation, they should be sent to jail. Yeah, seriously. Okay, I mean, somebody breaks into your house, goes through your shit, can you, can you imagine? But hold on, we gotta save room for all the people who do drugs yeah. for jail. I uh, mean, on the other hand, there's all those people who smoke pot in Washington who, who belong in prison, right? right? So, now look, why is there this phenomenon? Why do the cops not care? Now, in this case, it's a reporter, he's writing in a national newspaper, right? So they come and they dust it for prints, but they're like, but don't hold out hope. I mean, they got the guy's prints, they got his picture, right? And why? It's all a matter of incentives. So the cops in, in Washington must not incentivize going to get burglars, you know? And they must think, you know, and look, to be fair to them, maybe they're short stack. You know, I don't know what the situation is. But if I was in, living in Washington, D.C., and, you know, you got a situation like this, I'd be like, hey, look, raise my taxes 1%, 2%, what do you need? But let's actually get cops who chase down criminals. Right? Because I don't want to bring it into my house and mess it up my Facebook page. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.